guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP part. I believe this is 20, actually. Okay, so in this part, we're going to throw that teenaged party that, um, that I promised in the last part. And Tiff should be having her puppies in this part, which is super duper exciting to have a little puppy or puppies, um with us. So, actually somebody left me a comment uh, telling me that if I buy a bigger pet bed up here, um, that she can actually snuggle with her puppies and I thought that was like the cutest thing ever. So, we are totally gonna buy another big pet bed because who doesn't want to cuddle with puppies, right? That is like the best antidepressant ever. Yeah. Bless me. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, the party will be starting pretty soon. Let's go ahead and purchase um, a radio. We'll delete it once uh, the parents get home, Justine and Joseph. But we'll just go ahead and get this one. It's uh, from The Sims 3 store. It looks very um, teenage-ish, very rebellious. Like she's going to like rebel or something. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. But we're going to go ahead and get that. They can't drink quote-unquote juice, a.k.a. alcohol. Um, but they can, you know, do other cool things. Like, um, we'll get them a kick bag out here and a frisbee. Which, I mean, that would be kind of lame um, at, like, a legit party. <laughs> we'll get a little bonfire thingy, too. I think that should be good. Um... Alrighty, so the party will be starting pretty soon for uh, Luna, and Jay is back here, so we're going to go ahead and um, real quickly call for services and call a babysitter to actually take care of him, because I haven't been. <laughs> Let's go ahead and um, do this real quick. Alrighty, babysitter. Don't fret, your children will be in good hands with me. I'll get to your soon your your house as soon as I can. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, so the babysitter should be uh here pretty shortly. But um I think we can go ahead and uh, start getting this party started a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this on. We can't hear the music because of copyright. But we can sit here and Look at the sound waves popping out of that, right? Maybe I'll insert some music, uh, instrumental music, but we'll see. Alrighty, so people should start, uh, popping up out of nowhere, hopefully. Let's go ahead and clean up this dog pee, though. Yeah, here they come. Awesome. Let's go ahead and clean up the dog pee, though, because who, who wants that? Nobody. So clean that up. <laughs> We do need to keep an eye on Tiff, though, because I do want to see her have the baby. Not the baby, the puppies. Alrighty, so here is the quote-unquote Regina George, a.k.a. Tori. Um, she's kind of like the girl that Luna always wanted to be. She's, you know, the most popular girl in school. All the boys like her. And Luna kind of has this thing where she really secretly hates her. Even though Luna's, like, freaking perfect. Um, Tori just has that that thing that all the boys love. Whatever that thing is, please let me know. Let me know. Um, all right, who else do we have uh, coming on in right now? We have... If the walls would go away for a second, that would be awesome. We have Brayden. He's, like, the jock. He is a party animal, and he just, he's that person. Yeah. And then here is Dedrick. Uh, he is, like, Luna's dream man. She sees him at school, and she wants a piece of him. So, yeah. And that's uh, the people who have arrived so far. But, uh, yeah, that's her, like, dream man. And then we have the babysitter here. Wrong LP. Wrong LP. Just saying. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and uh, friendly introduce ourselves to Dedrick. We really want to get to know him. He's like, 
the man <laughs> that we want. So let's go ahead and come over here to him. He's scared of Jay. He doesn't want kids, obviously. Ask his sign. Ask if he's single. Compliment his appearance. His personality. Flirt a little bit. Give him a good pickup line. Watching Tiff. <laughs> I'm just I'm just really anxious for her to have that puppy. A baby who smells like arsehole walks right by. Nice. Alrighty. She's going to massage. No, no. Flirtatious joke. Confess her attraction. Flirt with him. Compliment his appearance. All right, he, she's going to go ahead and do another pickup line. Give him a good heat of the moment kiss, maybe. Party kiss, party kiss. Ooh. No! <laughs> no, you loved it. Stop. You loved it. Oh, apologize, I guess. <laughs> oh, come on. She's like, please accept me. <laughs> please don't tell anybody about this, please. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's really embarrassing. Her poor little party. What's new, right? Alright, let's go downstairs and see what everybody's up to. Down here we have Tori and what's his name? Brayden kind of dancing together. I was going to say if that was Dedrick, we would fight her. So maybe that would be interesting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tip, 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 Tiff's about to have that puppy. Tiff's about to have that puppy. It's not letting me know. She's about to have that puppy. Or she's going to go dig a hole. What are you going to do? I'm over here thinking she's going to have a puppy, but she's really going to go dig a hole, which makes me actually really worried. Oh, no, she's having that puppy. I was right. She's having it right on the porch. Or she's going to go in the house. Cool. Gives us better lighting. Thanks, Tiff. Thanks for being considerate. She's going to go all the way upstairs. She should uh, give birth in the dog room. That would be perfect. Oh. Is she? Nope. She's going to go right up to Luna. She's like, Luna, Luna, Luna. Look, look, look. Look, Luna, look. <laughs> Luna, look. <laughs> oh, Tiff just gave birth to a puppy. Don't forget to name it. Oh, let's get a good look at it. <laughs> Only one. Oh. Oh. Alrighty, so, um, new puppies. Just had a litter of puppies. You actually had one puppy, but I think because she only had one, we can actually keep it and not have to worry about giving any of them a, uh, away or anything, which is great. So it is a boy. He's adventurous and quiet. Um, I like that. Those are cute. We're going to go ahead and name him. And uh, we have Tiff and Buster. So it needs to be something pretty, pretty common in my opinion. Uh, I think we're going to name him, hmm, let me see, he's white with a little brown nose, so I think I'm going to name him Charlie Brown, or Charlie, because, uh, for those who don't know, um, I'm addicted to Charlie Brown, but, you know, beyond the point, uh, he has, like, well, it's not like a brown nose, it's kind of like a little dirty little nose area, snozzle, so I'm going to name him Charlie Brown, his name's Charlie. This is Charlie, everybody, and he is the cutest little thing ever. 
I love him already. So cute. So we're gonna have him uh, come snuggle here. I'm gonna come snuggle with Tiff. Somebody told me in the last part that they can actually snuggle in the bed together. And I that's why I bought a big bed right here. And I literally cried because it seems so cute. So he's going to come up here and cuddle with his mama. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear police. Uh, is there police coming? Because I definitely just heard, uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. Hey, look at that little mushroom. There is police definitely coming to this little house, which is not even a rager. It's not even that crazy. There's like four people here. Oh, look at them getting down over here, though. <gasps> you... <gasps> no! Stop talking to him. We're going to come over here and beat her butt. Her asshole. Uh-uh. He is our man, Tori. He is our man. And now I want to kill you. Even though the cops are here, I am still going to find a way to get over here and be rude to you. What a little shoo! Slap her. Yell at her. Nope, don't do it. Okay, so the cops, um, I don't think they've come in yet. No. Uh, they're gonna try to come in here and say, oh, break up the party. So we're just gonna go ahead and break the party up really quick. She's like, everybody, get out, get out. The cops are here. Nice party. Not, I'm out of here. Oh. Whatever. Hey, nice party. I gotta go, though. So everybody's running out right now. I gotta go. That party was nice. Well, of course you're not a fan of it, considering we hate you now. Whatever. So everybody's running out. Uh, they're breaking up the party, quote-unquote, because the cops arrived. Um, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what we did. What the woman said her daughter uh, had died 20 years ago cool but we're gonna go ahead and d delete this now um it was nice having it while it lasted we didn't even get to light the little fire pit are you kidding me we'll have to do it again for sure but uh cool the police are not even bothering us. That's even better. So, I mean, the party wasn't exactly the best thing ever. She got rejected by Dedrick. And Tori was dancing with him. So now she hates Tori, which we will definitely have to take care of her. And hopefully get Dedrick uh, right here back. Um, at the end of the day, we still have our best friend Snuggles, right? So we're going to go ahead and prepare ourselves a little something to eat. And then head to bed. And, um... Apparently, the adults are returning early. Luna Fenderson has only one hour to make sure the house is clean. Whatever. The house is, like, exactly how the parents left it. Uh, the only difference is there's now a puppy and a broken TV. They can deal. She's going to go ahead and cook herself a little meal. And her parents will be home soon. Some burnt waffles. Yum. She doesn't even eat them. First world problems. Alrighty, so we kind of just wait for Justine and uh, Joseph to return. They're actually on their way home now. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. Nobody wants to hear that. And Luna's going to act like absolutely nothing is wrong. Uh, sometimes when you throw the teen parties... Uh, the parents will actually come home right then and there in the middle of the party and you will totally get busted so yeah just thought i'd let you guys know but here they are home sweet home and their moodlets are uh, they're all right let's see if we get away with it 
great trip. Time away from home without any children. Could this, could anything be more relaxing? Alrighty. I've got to go. That party was nice. Duncan was still here. You know, Joseph arrives home and he just sees this, like, kid running out of the house. Oh, my gosh. A guy, too. How great. How fantastic. Luna's party was a modest success. Uh, the guests feel good about having attended. Looks like she got away with it. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and call the repair technician because there's so many things broken in this house. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go to bed. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys. You freaking guys. Even though poor little Charlie looks like he is not enjoying that. That is seriously the cutest thing I've seen ever. Ever. Nuzzle with Charlie Fenderson. Oh. It's so cute. Alrighty, Luna's gonna go ahead and head to bed now, and everybody's in a pretty rough mood, but, uh, there's so many great things, uh, that happened to them in this part, uh, so I'm, I'm really excited, so cute, he wants to buy a motorcycle, we might just have to do that, I think we, m I don't think we have enough for it, actually, I forget where, they're in here, under miscellaneous, 4,000 simoleons, and we will have enough money to get him that hot rod that he wants. Mm. Soon. Soon. And I believe Penelope comes home from school pretty soon, uh, which is also pretty crazy. But I'm going to go ahead and skip until everybody wakes up, you guys. And um, I'll get back to you guys then. Alrighty, it looks like uh, Luna's actually having a mood swing. It says, yikes. It seems like Luna got out of... Uh, Got, uh, got out on the wrong side of the bed today. She pr Be prepared for some rebellious behavior from her. So when you're a teenager, you get things like this. Uh, she's reacting to a noisy sim. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, have her go back to bed. But she's having a mood swing. Says your sim feels like no one understands her. She might be. She might get some rebellious wishes for a while. So one is skip school. What she actually has school today, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and lock that one in. Go ahead and, uh, okay, Joseph, oh my gosh, you had Joseph screaming. Somebody take care of him, please. Luna, go back to bed. You're okay. You're all good. Alrighty. So Joseph will uh, wake up and I I suppose and take care of the Rugrats. And we will have Justine go back to sleep. She starts work in three days. Finally. I'm so excited that we finally get to start the whole daycare thing up again. Uh, because we have been... Definitely slacking in that. So once she's back at work, we will have the opportunity to do all of that cool stuff. And how did our ball end up all the way over there? Why? Why did... How did it end up all the way at, like, the equestrian center? Not even going to question it. Just going to go with it. So the repairman's here bright and early. And our fish did die. Albert! Albert! No. Joseph. Dispose of Albert. We have to get another Albert. The kids can't know. Even though they didn't even know who Albert was. This this hurts me more than it hurts them. Albert. I love Albert. No. No. Albert. Rest in peace, Albert. Hashtag rest in peace, Albert. <laughs> no. Why? Why me? Why the Fendersons? This cannot be happening. Alrighty, we're gonna buy another goldfish. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that Albert never died, okay? Albert. Yay! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and mop up these puddles. And I think we're gonna... We're gonna sleep in. Um, yeah, 
No, Justine, what are you doing? Why? Why? Don't do it. Don't do it. You know what? Fine. Do it. Don't care. Alrighty, she wants to do that. She wants to stay out after curfew. Alright. She's going to insult a teen. Perfect, because we're going to fight. Um, we're going to go ahead and fight, what's her name? Tori. And she wants to stay out after curfew, which we can also do. I believe teenage curfew is, is either 10 or 11, one of the two. But uh, she's going to go ahead and head out to uh, school. And yeah. I am going to go ahead and end this part here, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget, if you liked this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. And um, if you didn't like it, hey, give it a big fat thumbs up. Who doesn't like big thumbs, right? Megan Fox thumbs, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> wow, where am I going with this? I hope you guys enjoyed the video, nonetheless. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.